Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing today? So the latest Netflix movie we've had come out the pipe is called Catching Feelings, and it is a foreign film, but it's set in South Africa and it's actually in English, so you don't need the subtitles, which is nice. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, if any of you absolutely love this movie, I would not be surprised. However, if a whole other group of you fucking hated the movie, I would also not be surprised. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this movie, and I'm pretty sure I'll never be 100% about how I feel about it. Two weeks from now, I might have a completely different mood based on fucking and who knows what. If I were to guess, I would say the basic plot of the movie is it's kind of chronicling a husband and wife, but it more so focuses on the husband and the fact that he's kind of a dick and a couple other trials and tribulations. And that's one of the things that really pissed me off about the movie is that there really isn't a 100% like through line about it. Like it touches on the main character being insecure about his job and the fact that like he has an older friend who kind of comes into the picture and he's an older white guy and he kind of stirs the pot a little bit in the guy's marriage and causes him to question his like life philosophies. And also the main character his little brother is like YouTube music famous. Like there's a whole bunch of shit going on. And realistically, the main character is just a total dick wrinkle if you think about it. Which isn't out of the ordinary because we've had movies with unlikable main characters. And there's examples like, you know, Tony Montana from Scarface is not a good guy. Or Jake Gyllenhaal's character from Nightcrawler, also not a good character. But to me, there was entertainment value in those characters. And with this guy, not really that much. But it was weird though, because like it felt like the main character was trying to waterboard you with a lot of racial stuff, which is totally okay. Like there's racial tensions in every country, so it's bound to come up every once in a while. But it's weird because he kept saying shit about race, and yet every other character was commenting on the fact that he was bringing up race all the time. So to me, the, the movie was basically saying, hey, we're gonna waterboard you with a fucking dickhole of a character. But within the script, we are also self-aware of the fact that our character's a dickhole. So it's like the movie's pissing on you, and it knows that it's pissing on you. Again, it's perplexing because it's like, why would you have that if you know it's a shit thing to do? Like, I don't, it's fucking confusing, man. And the music was good sometimes, other times it was just too loud, and it's a lot of like avant-garde jazz type of shit, which kind of captures the spirit of the movie because I feel like that's what they were going for. And the movie also felt like it was attempting to make commentary, not just with all the racial stuff in it, but also about love, relationships, and some of the time it was effective, kinda. Other times I felt like it was just trying too hard to be like a Woody Allen or a Spike Lee movie, and it just fell flat on its face. However, I know I'm, I, I sound like I'm shitting on the movie, but with all that negativity, it was also kind of endearing to watch. And I ultimately was kind of curious as to what was going to happen next with all the characters. And another thing that didn't hurt the movie, but I don't know if South African women are just the sexiest things ever, but a lot of the female cast members in this movie are fucking gorgeous, particularly the main character's wife. Like, Jesus. But on top of looking supremely gorgeous, she also probably did the best acting job out of anybody in the entire movie. But overall, guys, again, I'm just really not 100% sure how I feel about this movie. I know that I probably wouldn't want to watch it again, but there's also something to be said for something that holds your attention and makes you curious to see what happens next to all the characters. So based on everything I've said, I think I'm going to go slightly positive, actually, and give it a 5.8 out of 10. But please, everybody, jump in the comments section if you have seen this movie and let me know how you feel, because I am very, very curious to see what other people have to say about it. Because it was just that interesting and also that perplexing and those are some of the best movies because you don't know how anybody's gonna feel about it but anyway guys those are my thoughts hopefully you like this video if you did like comment subscribe do all that other shit and i will catch you guys later